In this demo, we introduce you to the very basics of using MagicDraw. Watch it to get familiar with MagicDraw working environment, main concepts, and functions. When you start MagicDraw, what you see first is the welcome screen. It provides useful shortcuts to the latest no magic and product related news, valuable resources, and pre-modeled MagicDraw samples. You can also manage your projects directly from this screen. Whenever you want to return, simply close all open projects. Let's start our demonstration and open a modeling sample. The MagicDraw window consists of the following parts, the main menu in the top, the main toolbar right under the main menu, model browser on the left, diagram pane on the right, the diagram toolbar above it, and the diagram palette on the left side of the diagram pane. The quick properties panel in the bottom left corner allows you to navigate and zoom in your model, fill in documentation, as well as change symbol and specification properties. There are two ways to customize your MagicDraw experience according to your needs. In the Project Options dialog, you can modify various project options such as symbol styles, model element properties, and other project-based settings that will affect modeling. Changes made here will be visible to all users who open the project on any computer. However, if you would like to set various project-independent options like appearance of the application or specific OS-related settings, apply changes in the Environment Options dialog. These changes will only reflect on your copy of the application and only on that particular computer. Other users who open your project on their computers will see their usual MagicDraw environment. Now let's create a new project. Click the New Project button on the main toolbar. You can also create new projects by going to File tab in the main menu and selecting New Project. Note, a project is a type of file, a physical working unit that consists of a model, model visualizations like diagrams, tables, matrices, project configuration options, and references to other elements residing in used projects. A model describes a system in various levels of detail. The contained model elements, such as actors, use cases, classes, and packages, and one or more diagrams that show a specific perspective of a system. To establish a coherent model structure, we need to create a package, a namespace that groups model elements. All types of UML model elements can be organized into packages. Packages themselves can be nested within other packages. You now have the structure of your sample modeling data represented by the containment hierarchy in the model browser, and this data will be represented graphically in the created diagram. Let's create a diagram in the package by clicking the Create Diagram button on the main toolbar. A dialog with available diagram types opens. Choose, for example, a class diagram. Tip, you can also create a diagram without even touching the mouse. Simply use the diagram search, press Ctrl N to create, then write the type of diagram you want to create in the search box and press enter. Note, you can search by entering just the first letters of the diagram type, skipping the spaces and disregarding the letter case. Now let's create a few sample model elements to see how diagramming works. You can create an element in the model browser by using the shortcut menu.
As you can see, the model consists only of model elements and graphical equivalents of an element which are called symbols. For example, when we drag a class element from the model browser to the diagram pane, we create a new class symbol. One element can have several symbols, but one symbol can only belong to one element. The distinction between element and symbol can be easily demonstrated. Let's delete a symbol. No changes appear in the model itself. The represented elements still exist. Only its representation is deleted. Now let's undo that and then delete the element from the model browser. You now see that the symbol is no longer in the diagram. That's because there is no data to represent. Let's undo that too. You can modify element specifications in the specification window. Right click the symbol of this element or the element itself and select specification. Here you can rename the element and make other changes. The changes affect both model elements and all of the element symbols. You can change symbol properties by right clicking on the symbol and selecting symbol properties. Or you can perform some changes more quickly if you use the diagram toolbar. These changes are applied only to the selected symbol and does not affect the model element or other symbols. Another useful feature is the smart manipulator buttons and toolbar that appear when symbols are selected on the diagram pane. The smart manipulator allows you to create additional classes, join them with associations, add new attributes, and more. When you are done modeling a part of your project and want to share a symbol or diagram quickly, you can go to Edit tab in the main menu and use the command Copy as Image. If you'd like to keep more diagram images for future sharing, go to the File tab in the main menu and select Save as Image. However, if you want to share the whole project, it's best to generate a web portal report. In the main menu, go to Tools, Report Wizard, then choose Web Reports from the list provided and generate the output file. Advanced users can investigate other report types or even customize their own. Thank you for watching this video. Visit www.nomagic.com slash products slash magicdraw.html for more valuable information, product evaluation versions, samples, white papers, plenty of tutorials on how to use various MagicDraw functions, and more.